Welcome guys, in this video we will be going through some strategies that you can use to survive past the first floor. First of all, before you do anything, you need to pick the engineer. The reason you need to pick the engineer is because you need to unlock all the recipes that you cannot see over here because I do not have any stations. But you need to, to craft many items and uh, the recipes are really going to help you survive. The second thing that you need to do is to remove your armor. The reason you need to remove your armor is because you don't know when you're going to find another set of armor. So you need to make these last as long as possible. The enemies in the first floors are not so dangerous that you require an armor. So you can uh, easily remove it and play without it. The second and third thing that you need to do, which is tied to the armor, is to not use your weapons. First of all, your pistol has ammo and you cannot use it on rats and uh, bats. The knife uh, has also durability, which means that once this is gone, you'll be left with punches. And you cannot punch a moon bear to death. The third and fourth thing is to look for these trees in this uh, outside area. They will provide you with some skill ups for foraging, which is a very useful skill. And they will provide you with some ice gems, which will provide you food. Or enemies in this case. Now, the reason I'm using the knife against these enemies is because it's not a single enemy, it's a bunch of enemies and I want to conserve my, my health. Like those enemies over there. Let's see if, we can, if I can lure one at a time. By the way, the, the reason I use punches is because the same with the armor. If I broke all my knives, is at 50%. You I'm not guaranteed to find another armor. melee weapon. Now, I'm using the medkit because I don't really care about this run. But you should try to keep all your resources intact. Okay, I'm going to punch this rat. There's no reason to use a knife. Now, it comes with experience, but you need to learn which enemies you can punch and which enemies you need to use a knife and which enemies you need to use a gun. Now, as you can see, I leveled up. And you may be tempted to level up right now, but it, it's not a good idea. Uh, two reasons behind this, uh, this, uh, this logic. The first one is I'm at full health. And I don't need to level up right now because leveling up will refill my health bar. And I really don't need it now. I can refill my health with combat. The second reason is because I didn't use really any other skill other than punches, knifing, medical or foraging. Now, it's very unlikely, if not impossible, to make a double level up. Meaning you level up and you don't level up and you level up again so you have two level ups and you can only assign one point per level up for your skills so you're gonna waste a level basically you cannot do it here but you should definitely be careful in, uh, in the next floor to not do a double level up
Now, if the, ga if the game graciously loads the next level, I can show you how to level up properly. So, before you level up, you make your first level up. You need to use these two devices. I suggest you use the ammo crate because you, it has the highest chance of success, which is mechanical in this case. Take the ammo, and as you can see, this has 85% chance of success. You may want to help Lady Luck, so we are going to level up right now. And as you can see, my mechanical only takes one point to level up. Now, the main thing that you want to do, regardless of your class, is to raise the might up to a comfortable level, like 70. On, uh, if every 5 points, this increases your stats over here. But every 10 points, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, you get more spaces in the inventory. The other attributes do not gain, grant you anything above, this po the, above, the, above the skill points over here. So, given this is a game about resources, you can see that might plays a, a, a big role in your runs. The more you can stuff in your backpack, the more choices you have to take along the challenges. So, raising might is the only thing that you should do until you get 70, circa. Second, your skill points. The most important skill points in this game are mechanical, lockpick, some form of defense, and foraging. Now, for your first run, you may, cons you may want to consider computer and decipher, since you want to learn all the recipes as fast as you can, so you can use other classes too. In this run, I have got all the recipes, no worries, I'm going to take mechanical, even if it costs 2 points, I'm going to take lockpick. And even if it's not at 45, which is the cap for natural skill ups, I'm going to take it, because I need lockpick to get up as fast as we can. Okay? If I fail lockpicking, I may preclude myself some, some loot. So I'm going to take it regardless. Now, electronics, I usually don't bother with the engineer. You may want to increase it with other classes. Foraging is extremely important. Not only it increases the quality of the loot, but also the chances of success for the related tasks. So I'm always going to take foraging. I won't bother with medical. And the rest of the points, I usually put points in knives and uh, pistol if I have the spare chance. Now, I can keep the point. I don't really need to use this last point, so I'm going to keep it. There's no reason for me to use it. Now, I have 87%, which is 2% more. It's not much, but, you know. Okay, pistol rounds. Good. Uh, one other thing. Uh, you get the boomstick. And this weapon is like the oh shit button. And you need to use it only when you find difficult enemies. Now, for the engineers, difficult enemies can be the mm, uh, Zulpap, which is fast and can easily destroy you, or any other form of big enemies. Don't use it on turrets, bots, or anything else in first floors. Just use your pistol or your knife. Here, for the punches. Second, with F key, you can activate your flashlight, which is extremely helpful but when you got smoke room um, rooms filled with smoke you can it can be counterproductive you cannot see a damn thing okay the scorpion I suggest you use your knife the reason is that the scorpion along with some other creatures excuse me I'm trying to do for the video, thank you. Okay, I will say the scorpion along with other creatures can inflict some statues like poison. Other creatures will, will uh, infect you with diseases and you don't really want to be infected with diseases in this game because once you reach level 9 you will die. You have like 5 seconds and then you'll die. So I strongly recommend that you take out enemies like the scorpion or the viruses 
in a timely fashion. Uh, don't, don't use punches for them. Now the Protean, like this one, they will inflict acid damage to your inventory. So, and all your weapons that you're going to use to beat them. So since there is no drop all button in this game compared to the previous one, you may need to use your gun. It's just a couple of bullets with the pistol. But you still need to do it. Okay. Now the Taka subject has a rifle, an auto rifle. It can drop an auto rifle, it can drop rifle rounds and it's not very accurate when you go close combat. So if you feel daring, I suggest that you use your knife and you rush him or wait him around the corner. You will probably miss his shots. If not, you can use your gun. That's up to you. Also, I'm about to die and there's a <sighs> there's a bad enemies over, the, over there. Two, in fact. So I'm going to level up anyway. Two more skill points into might. Mechanical, absolutely. Foraging, absolutely. I need lockpick. I'm going to take uh, my knife skill and pistol skill. And that's about it. Now the reason I'm raising knife and pistol, even they are not, uh, if they're not at their top level, it's because the higher your skill, uh, your, skill, your, skill, your skill points, the lesser damage you take in uh, durability, lesser chances of taking damage, durability damage. So, since there's not many weapons compared to the first game, where you had a lot of weapons, and uh, yeah, the knife is not extremely durable. As you can see, it only has 13 durability out of 15. Now I can craft other blades, but not right now. So for this enemy, this type of enemy is particular, it can spawn rats, and rats drop organics, which is a material for food. Now I don't care about this thing, so I'm gonna blast them with the shotgun, I don't really want to... Oh be careful, if you use the shotgun right here, you are going to hit all these things, goodies, loots, you're going to destroy it. Also, use your your aim, right mouse button. It will give you a boost to your accuracy. And it luckily doesn't like me. you shouldn't run in the first floor yeah you can do it okay reload the gun reload the shotgun and let's get this oh also crouch I forgot crashing improves your boost your uh, your boost your accuracy so she's almost dead can safely kill her with a knife. Okay. See? I've got poison. poison you don't want one. this status on your character. And the reason is because unlike the previous game, this effect stacks. So Let's say the viruses, the, gr the yellow viruses, all inflicted System you with disease level 3 in the first game. But in this game, they stuck. So it's level 3, level 6, level 9, and you're dead. So you want to deal with these enemies as fast as you can. That's the reasoning. The same with the poison. Okay. Now I'm going to use foraging, and I level up again, so I'm going to use this locker over here so I can get my mechanical skill for one point instead of two points 
because every time you use a skill tag so when you level up it, it only costs you one point okay now I haven't found any lock pick so on any any lock to pick so I cannot really invest one point in lock pick but I need to invest two points and I'm almost dead so I'm going to level up again 40 right now I've got more inventory space okay it's gotten bigger that's why it's important so keep raising might mechanical I'm going to go with my pistol knife lock pick rifle very important skill and forging okay try to keep those skill up there are many games and uh, many weapon in the game but unless you find the mag rifle which if I recall correctly it's an assault weapon not sure about that I found it only once the majority of your weapons are going to be pistols or rifles now this is a trap now unlike the first game where you could test the traps and just drop everything and go through you have to either bash the door open or try to disable the trap and risk being uh, getting an item destroyed now in this case there's nothing to do it didn't do anything it was probably a good trap since it didn't, it didn't do anything invalid target so it means it's either a recharge trap or a recharge trap yeah it's definitely a recharge trap let's see I'm going to use my motion scanner right now which is on the zero key and I'm going through the trap item recharge see you can test the trap this way be, be careful because the item destroy trap is really nasty if you get an item destroy trap in these stages you might as well restart your run if it destroys your armor your ammo your weapons just restart the run it's not worth going on also as you can see my knife is pretty damaged so I found some nano reconstructor they will refill all your durability without damaging the maximum durability and I recommend you stack on these things and use it later in the games to repair your, your armor uh, not this one obviously the more expensive armors like the polarized armor and your most damaging weapons for everything else you can use a polymer infuser for your armors or the ballistic or sharpening repair kit you can use it now I don't care about this knife right now I have another knife so let's keep going uh, plus I can use it I mean it's not really damaged just halfway okay this is a okay this lock this lock I can train my lock piece skill and I recommend you always 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 unlock doors if you can and do not use lockpick set because the, you must use lockpick set on uh, weapon lockers so you can find weapons failure I was not failure last chance and I failed 3 out of 3 70 percent chance now if you really ne need to go through this door you can bash it with your fist or grenades or or really anything you can also gain skills like you, you like you say well just once but whatever but I, I, ain't, I ain't got the time to stick around so what did I miss in this tutorial oh by the way the red cable is the safe one the blue cable is the bad one so if your character is pulling out the blue cable you can start swearing it's fine ammo crate 99% get used to fail 99% okay it's not guaranteed get used to it 
Shotgun ammo. Great. Shotgun ammo is always great. By the way, this shotgun is the strongest shotgun you will ever get. It's ammo, ammo efficient, highly damaging, and yeah, the shotgun, the, the standard shotgun is slow and doesn't do that much damage. This one is fast and does a lot of damage. So, hello. Blood glucose levels at 50%. Okay. Look out for bats, they usually hanging around the ceiling. Great. 92%. Let's go. And nothing. Okay, I'm starved. I'm starving, so I'm going to eat something. Theoretically, you can always eat a couple of things just to get you going, but what the heck? It's not like I'm going to find an ultra med bay in this game. Let's make some space, some room, eat some moldy bread. Unlike the first game, you cannot do anything with, with moldy bread. Oh, by the way, if you play the old game, please know that moldy bread, the rotten cheese, all these things. They are not using crafting. What you use in crafting is this thing: organic matter, bindings, scrap metals, and scrap electronics and other things. You can see over here. These are all things you need to craft your items. Whether you are improvising crafting or just at the station, these are the items that you need. So feel free to eat all your rotten foods. Be careful about the disease. Can I pick this lock? No. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you run, it's more likely that you run into a trap. They are more likely to spawn if you if you run. They will still spawn, and you should not stop because if it's a gas, if it's an acid trap, you're going to get all your inventory destroyed. So let's go down floor button. You can press this button here to close the door. Or you can press this button here to go down. I felt like it really was uh, an extremely helpful tip to tell you that you need to press this button to go down or up. You know, sometimes. Okay, this spider over here can inflict poison. So you definitely need to use the knife. I mean, poison is not that dangerous compared to this. What the heck? Excuse me. Okay, in this case, I'm prioritizing the spider because the spider can poison me. This guy at close range is not that dangerous. Okay? Who the hell? Please stop interrupting me at this time. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Alright. I think I think I'm going to leave you there for now. So I'm going to level up. Two more points. As you can see it's pretty pretty straightforward. Keep pumping might. Mechanical. Lock picking finally costs one point. And we got one point, of course. Of course. Foraging go up. Knives up. And I'm not really going to spend two points for a pistol. But uh, yeah, I'm going to boost electronics in this case. And it costs two points. Yeah, sure. I don't care. The reason is because you will need to repair the stations. You may need to repair the stations. You may find them intact or you may find them broken. And the electronics will help you fixing them. Okay. Okay, I know I said that you shouldn't use the the boomstick against robots. And do as I say, not as I do, I guess. You know, sometimes they get on my nerves. 
and I pull up the shotgun and I blast them to hell because it's fun. Now the first floors are quite easy, as you can see I'm not using any armor and I'm still alive but later on you may want to play with different type of bullets mm, where did it come from? Wh where the hell did it come from? yes, die, thank you and this game has a bad habit of sending you sending enemies towards you for no reason at all it's always in the, in the wrong moment, the wrong time, the wrong spot. Okay, some enemies will not aggro you, like this one. He's standing there, so I could easily take out this guy and then easily deal with this other guy. Don't think I didn't see you, I saw you. Okay, this is a rabid bat, it can inflict you with disease. So knife him to death instead of punching him. Nothing found as expected. Now let's repair my knives. Kni my knife, not knives. Okay, sharpening kit. Watch my durability. It's 15, my max durability. I'm going to use the sharpening kit. Yes, do it please. Thank you. And it's 10.45. Meaning this knife will last less than before before breaking up. Now I've, I've got two of them so it's fine. But that's the reason you may want to hold until, the re until it's the last moment to... Oh, 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 hey, 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 please, please stop, please stop. Thank you. Where did it come from? I don't know. Sometimes enemies spawn out of nothing. Now, two scorpions. Obviously, I'm going to use a knife. I'm not going to bother punching them. It's tedious. Poison level two. Warning: health is at fifty percent. Utility belt gives Poison you more space one. in your inventory, as you can see. It's very useful. And I guess, I guess we are done. Wow, hey. what a shitty floor. Incredible. Let's go down. System clear of poison. Right, now, this is... I'm going to end this video here. These are the basic tricks. Ticks and trips and... <laughs> tips and tricks. Okay, these are the basic strategies, the foundation upon which you can... You can start your runs. So, to recap, start with the engineers get all the recipes, unequip your armor, only use the knife on dangerous enemies like those with poison, disease uh, um, and more armor than you can handle with punches. For the rest use punches, use the shotgun only as a oh shit I'm going to die very soon. The pistol to deal with turrets, by the way you can use corners to shoot turrets you can just aim for the pixel that's slightly there so they won't shoot you back you can shoot them and destroy them okay don't 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 tell this to the developers or they may fix it keep it to yourself like i'm doing now and med kits you i tend to find a lot of med kits but be mindful of your resources Okay, this is a resource game, so meaning that you trade something for something else. You conserve your ammo to use it later, because you are not guaranteed to find ammo, armor, weapons, med kits, anything, okay? With that being said, I know there are a lot of things that you can learn by watching me going deeper into the dungeon, like weapon lockers, explaining weapons and whatnot. Suffice to say that with these basic strategies you can get at least I'd say on the sixth floor. Then it's all about the luck.
okay you can get your rifle you can craft your rifle the single shot rifle it's very good does a lot of damage very ammo efficient but it only gets you so far because once you start meeting uh, feral female zul something something that will rush you the rifle is not going to cut it you need to use the boomstick and even then you're going to take a lot of damage so the rifle and the improvised weapons will help you but eventually if you haven't got decent armor and decent weapons you're going to die around the 16 16th floor 17th 19th so yeah it's basically based on luck so don't start to run and cling to it if you fail you fail if you get some good weapons you get good weapons if you bad, get bad, bad weapons you get bad weapons don't stress it it's a game you'll never complete it most likely unless you're playing with friends or maybe on easy difficulty if your ego is non-existent my ego is very existence and i refuse to play on easy difficulty but you feel free to do so okay do as I say, not as I do. Okay? Thanks for watching and take care.